comics take a long time to complete and they take a lot of passion to do so. I got a question over on the Discord about how to regain passion and how to get back into an old project that you've dropped. And I think that it's a great question and one that I'm currently dealing with myself. So yay on that one. Um, so basically, I'm going to give you five ways to reignite or keep your passion for a comic. Number one, reread your comic. This is by far the most important step when it comes to engaging myself with a comic that I've dropped. I need to sit down and I need to read it. Thinking back on a comic often doesn't jog enough memories for me and I often end up with plot holes if I just go back into it without even thinking. But sitting down and reading, that gives me so much more appreciation um, than I often expect to get. And what often stops me from going back to a comic is one, I know I'll be excited and I don't actually want to get back to work, aka me right now. Two, it takes a long time to reread your work, especially if you're multiple volumes into it. And three, it's a little nerve wracking. Anytime you open something old, there is a very real fear that it'll make you want to rewrite everything and just rip it apart and do it from scratch. Staring at old work is a great way to see all the flaws and really start hating on yourself for no real reason. However, I've got some tips within this tip to tell you how to not do that. Um, when you go back and reread your work with the intent of hyping yourself up and moving forward, search for good things, highlight good things, turn off that critical eye and just enjoy the experience. Setting your brain in that mind space is half the battle. The next more concrete tip I have is print it out. You're less likely to get distracted by the internet and it's really hard to edit as you go, especially if you're one of those people who has a script file and just kind of, I'll just add a little bit here and a little bit there. When you print it out, it's a lot less tempting to do so. And if you've never printed out pages before, well, I can assure you that it's really, really cool and a great experience. There's something very exciting about holding all of your progress in your hands. And if you have a lot of colored pages, you can always go through like create space and just put out a proof for yourself and see your work in a book shape, which again, it just makes you very excited. Basically, look at your work as your own biggest fan before re-engaging with it as its creator. I mean, side note here, but I'm going to be rereading all my chunky, chunky binders of my comic script for nine points while on the treadmill after this recording. So yeah, wish me luck on that one. Number two, write out what excites you. After you've reread your story, hopefully there's this huge swell of excitement within you. If you're anything like me, you've left your story right before it got good for some reason. And if you have now is the time to write down all the cool things that lay ahead. Excite yourself about what are the new things you need to write. In the case of art, hype yourself up by looking at the cool stuff that you will be illustrating as dictated by your script. My personal favorite hypothetical is to kind of imagine how people react to a plot twist or some sort of exciting new scene once it gets posted. If you're not at that point where you have an audience, don't fear, I've been there. Hyping yourself up over your story can be a lot harder in that position, but you really just gotta focus on your own enjoyment of the story first and foremost regardless of if you have an audience or not. After all, you should be writing a story because it makes you happy, it fulfills you, and not because of monetary gain or an audience. Because, you know, there's better ways to make money and gain an audience than have a comic. Number three, add new things that do excite you. If you're staring at the story ahead of you and you aren't excited at all, well, that's a problem. If the new pages bore you, again, a problem. While sometimes a story needs a few boring scenes, if you look ahead of you and see nothing but boring, uninteresting, unexciting things, it's time to shake things up. Make sure your pages are interesting. Expand on characters, world build, shift the plot around, try and find what's broken. This is a bigger problem than the one I'm addressing in this current video, and if you really hate everything leading up to the point of the story ahead, like you don't like anything, it might be time to start like thinking about switching 
projects and shelving the one that you're currently on or making some sort of dramatic change to it. But again, that's a bigger video for another time. Number four, Share things you're excited about. One great way to engage with your story and remain so is to chat about it. If you're working on a team, take time to gush about the current project. Give it love. Get excited. I'm going to say excited five million times in this. If you're working alone, it's a good idea to make friends that you can talk story with with them. Maybe they can also be a comic and friend and then you can swap between one another. It's great. It just, it's engaging. You don't have to be a hermit walled in by comic pages sitting on plot twists for years. You don't have to be. There are plenty of comic communities out there. I know a lot of people have found luck making comic and friends over on our Discord, so if that interests you, you should check that out in the description. It might help you make friends. But basically, make friends and share. And make sure to give your old stories their time. Just because there's something new and shiny out there doesn't mean that your old story is bad. To stay passionate about it, you can't just ignore it. You have to give it love. Number five, work on the hard part. Do a horrible job. Finally, some contrary advice. If you can't get excited, if you can't get excited or you are excited and still can't get any work done, well, you just gotta get to work. Sometimes passion, inspiration, and hype still won't get your butt in the chair. No matter how happy you are, there's gonna be rough patches. Sometimes you're gonna get stuck on a scene and it's gonna be like pulling teeth even if the scene ends up turning fine in the end. It just happens. That's one of those unfortunate realities. So get your butt in the chair and make garbage. You can fix it later, set a 30 minute timer, and work through the problem. For what it's worth, I give you permission to make bad art. Just get it done. Most likely, after you get over whatever hill you're stuck on, things will be okay. But before you can make any outlandish decisions, give up on art entirely, shelve a project forever, push yourself over this hill. There you go. I hope that helps. Stay excited, um, and I love you. Alright, so now it's time to just ramble a little bit because I got through my main points. So, like I said, I'm going to be working on 9 point after this because I'm on volume 3 and I kind of dropped it in the middle because I got really busy, so there's something I want to do. A lot of you probably are aware of 9 point because Ursula does a bunch of vlog vlogs about it all the time, and I think they're great for this kind of advice too, kind of showing you how just trucking through can really help you get things done. I'll leave a link to that in the little card thing right now. I'm working on that. I'm also working on Moonlight, which is our werewolf anthology, so there's that. I have to get back to a lot of people about scripts that have been sent in. It's really exciting. I also get to announce all of the... Um, artists and writers well not all the writers because they're still script there's still um prose writers that will need to be announced uh but i'm announcing all the comic people over on twitter and tumblr the moonlight tumblr not our main tumblr so there you go yeah and tonight i also have twitch to do oh my goodness i'm so busy um me and ursula will be doing the the mystery dungeon pokemon mystery dungeon the, f the first game the one for the game boy advance it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Ursula's enjoying it. She's really bad at it, but you know, I'm not the best either. Yeah, I'm so busy. I also got like a million hecking doctor's appointments. I think I have like five, maybe? I'm not sure. It sounds like five. It's I think it's just three or four, but it sounds like a lot, and in the next few months, man, I'm gonna be prodded so many times. Looking forward to that one. I'm also cleaning up Christmas stuff, finally, now that it's March 1st. As, as one does. I kept it up because it's just, I hate the winter, so I need like festive decorations to make me happy. But now that it's March, it's gonna stay winter probably, and now I'm just not gonna have festive decorations. But I I guess I can work on spring cleaning, even though March isn't even spring. Like, March is a terrible season. I'm sorry if you were born in March. It, it's okay. I, I mean, if you like it, that's fair. But if you live anywhere like where it gets stupid cold you probably don't it's like it's such a liar of a month it feels like it should be spring but it is definitely winter it is always frozen 
always. Yeah. What else am I doing? I'm also working on Kickstarter prep because I got like a new Kickstarter coming out. I did like a straw poll for that forever ago. It's my Honeywalls Kickstarter. We'll we'll get more in depth with it. I should familiarize you with the name Honeywalls. It's exciting. And I'm getting I'm working on getting a new camera, guys. Um, because I have a webcam, but I want a vlogging camera because I'd really like to start vlogging. But I'm saving up all the Patreon bucks to buy it because I want a good base camera that I can add lenses to so that I can, you know, you know, like upgrade it, I guess. I used to do like, um, like in the Ursula and Bones origin story video, it, we mentioned that we went to like an art school. So yeah, we went to like a high school that had art stuff. So I got to play with all the fancy cameras and I really miss it. And I want to play with them again. I miss having like different lenses and being able to like shift things around instead of just relying on autofocus all the time because I can't even turn the autofocus off on our Logitech. Like I have to get a, a, a program to make it work on Mac. Meanwhile, like on Windows, I can just turn it off. Like, I don't know, m maybe, m maybe I'm just not smart. Yeah, I don't know. And, th and thanks for everyone who like actually subscribed to Patreon yesterday. That was pretty amazing. I'm very, very blessed. I'm excited to do the critique stream and invite some of the $5 patrons to the after hours stream. Like that's going to be fun. I hope that goes, th that your payments all go through before, um, before our next live stream. That'd be nice. But either way, I'm excited. It's been nice to see all those pank names on the discord. 10 out of 10, making me happy. Love ya. And if you don't have money, don't worry. I understand. I wish I could subscribe to every Patreon too, but you know, sometimes you gotta be picky and choosy. I guess I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna be doing a video on subplots. I don't know what exactly about subplots, so I guess time to flood me with questions on the Discord section, um, the, the questions for video section, because man, you guys have a lot of questions about subplots, so I feel like I have to do a whole bunch of them, but I'll do one. I'll, I'll start with one video on subplots and then see where that takes me. Um, I don't know why I'm doing a ramble afterwards. I'm trying to ramble more because I miss rambling to you guys. I ramble a lot on Twitch, but like even then you don't get my full focus and I have like a little list of things I need to ramble about, which is very helpful. I just thought it'd be nice. I thought it'd be like a con connecting moment between us, especially for you, you the person who is still here listening to this because you're working on your comic and you need like a voice talking to you. This is, this is for you. Either way. Okay. I should actually head out now. Thank you so much for listening. I'll catch you guys next week. Or I'll catch you guys at the next live stream. Uh, Ta-ta for now, me dudes.